The movie happens in a post-apocalyptic world where the entire world has went back to Ice Age and everything is covered in ice. The remaining people built underground colonies to survive where humans are living in fear even from flus. To prevent the deaths due to new diseases they made a set of rules. If they get any flus they will be put in quarantine. If they are still not cured they will be executed. But they have a choice to take a bullet or take a long walk in the snow. In the opening scene we see two people hearing screams from a distance. They run to the door and begs them to let them in. Next scene we see a man fixing a satellite dish. Then a hatch opens up and three men come out of it. One of them named Hal is sick. Hall begs them to give him another day believing he will get better but Mason doesn't listen to him. Then Hall asks to let him walk into the cold. Mason rejects, then Sam tells let the man choose but Mason, tells they always get back to outpost like other sick ones do when Hal starts to run. Sam tries to stop Mason but Mason shoots him later he meets with a man named Briggs when he tries to talk about Hal Briggs says that he tested positive for the flu and he has to dead to protect the others. Then Sam tells Hall's choice is to walk not to take a bullet. Then Briggs stops for a moment and says they have a bigger problem to deal with. Now they go into the communications room and Cooper tells them that the Colony 5 has sent a distress message for us and now they are not responding. Briggs tells to contact everyone for a meeting to go on for a mission. Later Briggs gets to Mason and confronts him about what he did. He reminds Mason that the people always have a choice no matter what the outcome is. Mason tells him that he can't risk everyone else because of one man Sam gets to Victor and he tells him about the rabbits. He says there has been only 12 born this year and only one of them is female. He tells things are turning out bad even the rabbits can't mate. He goes to his girlfriend Kay and she greets him. He asks her for some soy pellets when she goes to get some. Sam looks at the work she is doing and asks her about it. She says she is trying to find the weather modification tech and says it has to be somewhere out. But Sam doesn't like the idea of using the tech again but he asks her he will come with her when she finds the tech later they all gather at the main hall. Sam hears a man named Dexter telling his wife not to cough. Sam notices they are sick suggests them to go to their room. Briggs walks into the hall and he suddenly catches a kid stealing his lighter. Briggs tells them about the signal they have received from the Colony 5 and says Colony 3 got shut down last like this. So it's worth checking up. And Briggs says he is sending a team there and he will be leading it. And he asks for two volunteers and he asks how many radio parts he can get. Mason intervenes and says it will risk their colony with flu and oppose his decision. Kai reminds that they had a pact with Colony 5 to look after each other. Briggs ends the discussion saying they have to go. He asks for Dexter to come with him but Sam volunteers instead of Dexter saying he has to be here to fix the turbines in case they break down. And a young man named Brayden volunteers as the second one. And Briggs puts Kai in charge until he returns. And Mason is so frustrated about this. Then suddenly Dexter's wife Elena coughs. They all get alert and they put Dexter and his wife in quarantine. And Briggs says to Dexter he should have said something sooner next. See Sam is having a dream as a boy wandering in the snow and after looking for a while he finds his mother dead. Covered in the snow he wakes up suddenly Kai gets to him and says it is not his fault after he tells her about the dream. The next day the team has set their travel out to the Colony 5 on their way. They see a weather modification team grade and asks if it still works. Briggs says it used to a long time ago. After long walk they reach to a bridge which is in a worst state they walk through by escaping the gaps and they reach a bigger one but they manage to cross it too. After crossing the gap Graydon sees something and they go to check on it is a man and he shot himself to death. Briggs looks inside the vehicle and sees a woman who got shot in the head. After that they keep on moving. They get to a broken helicopter and they get into it to camp out for the night later. Briggs calls Cooper and informs where and says they will reach Colony 5 by the noon of next day. Cooper informs that Dexter and Elena's situation is getting worse and Mason is pushing for tests. Briggs gives Cooper the authority to stop Mason if he crosses another boundary later. Briggs tells Sam the place where he found him is close. Sam tells about his story to Graydon. He tells that when his group of survivors ran out of supplies the men went to get some but they never came back. He wanted to get his sister and mother out of their cause. People started to die, 
They went looking for a better place but got hit by a strong. He is the only one survived only because he got saved by Briggs. Next day they get to the fifth colony outpost and they see a blood trail in the snow. Brayden warns we shouldn't go in there and he wants to stay out but Sam insists that they should stick together after getting down. Briggs sees blood trails all over. Briggs gives Brayden a gun while they are walking. They hear some noise. They think someone is alive and they move on in that direction where the sound is coming to save them on their way. All they see is blood trails and scratches on the doors. Gray insists we should get out of here but Briggs tells him to man up. Sam manages to unlock the door and they go in. They see a man there and he is so afraid. He asks them if they are gone. Sam calms him and gives some water. He tells his name is Leland and he asks for some food. He tells that he has been locked in here for days. Sam asks if there is anyone alive to which says to find life. Briggs tells they are from Colony 7 and they are here to help. Leland tells they fixed the antenna a few days ago and they received an unknown transmission, and shows them the message a man say they fixed the weather modification tech and they finally made the sun appear. And they can see the soil and clouds for 3 miles radius are cleared and expanding. They ask other colonies for some seeds cause they don't have them. And the transmission cuts off while he is telling the location Leland tells they send it to to find the place and they never found it. It, but somebody find them and followed them here. Briggs tells they are going to take him to Colony 7 and they says he doesn't have to afraid cause there is no one here. And Brayden says they only find him cause he knocked. Leland tells he didn't knock and they all prepared to go out. Briggs takes some dynamites that he found there. They hear some noises and they go out to check but Leland pushes them and locks himself inside. They follow the knocking sound they to a room and see corpses all over and also sees some man eating cannibals there. They are butchering the corpses and eating them. One of them notices Sam and others and Sam shoots him due to that gun sound. All the other cannibals wakes up and their leader shouts at them. Brayden runs leaving them. Sam and Briggs runs from there and the cannibals follows them. Brayden got caught by them. Sam and Briggs comes to help but it's too late. Brayden is dead. They both climb the level and Sam climbs up the ladder to reach surface. Briggs kills a cannibal who is already there and he breaks the ladder. The cannibals comes there and their leader screams at them. Briggs also climbs up and reaches the surface. After getting out, Briggs throws a dynamite inside and destroys the entrance. They start to rush their way back to their colony. Later they go to the same helicopter to camp out due to increasing cold. Briggs tells Sam about his days in the squad and also says he saw things like this while his time in the squad and says it was hunger that made people turn into cannibals and they decide to look for the transmission when they get back to the colony next morning Sam sees the cannibals or approaching them and gets afraid they will lead them to the colony. Briggs takes him saying we can take care of them at the bridge after getting to the bridge. Briggs takes out a dynamite and lights it up and they take cover. But unfortunately the fuse is out. Briggs gets back to the dynamite while the cannibals are approaching him. He manages to light the dynamite and blasts off the bridge with him leaving. The cannibals no way to get to Sam. Sam continues to walk alone to the outpost and finally he manages to reach the outpost back at the outpost. Mason brings out Dexter and decides to kill them. When Dexter asks to give them a test, Mason shoots Elena. Kai gets out and warns him they see Sam and Kai runs to him. Mason tries to shoot Dexter but he manages to escape. Mason gets to them and knocks out Kai later. Sam wakes up and tells that Graydon and Briggs are dead. Mason gets to him and cuffs Sam to the bed and he takes charge and makes changes in the rules. Victor asks what happened. Sam tells about the cannibals and how they killed all the colony. Five members including Graydon and Briggs. He tells they are coming here and we should get out of there and go to the site they received the transmission from. But Mason rejects saying no one is going anywhere and leaves the place. The kid bumps into Mason. He gives the keys to Sam to get him free. Mason goes out to check and couldn't find anything and he goes in and takes a look at the monitors and he gets reported that Sam has escaped. Sam gets to Kai and he unties her. Sam checks out the coordinates and finds out the location and decides to go there. They go to the lab and takes the seeds with them while they are running out. Mason catches them. Sam tells he is going out of here with everyone else but Mason rejects saying no. One is going anywhere. Then they hear some banging sound from outside. 
they get to the monitors and sees the cannibals are trying to get into the outpost and the cannibal leader shows them the decapitated head of Dexter. Mason gives Sam a gun and they gather all the men and are waiting at the entrance. The cannibals manage to get in and they are using the vents to get in. They caught up to the people and are killing one by one while shooting them. Mason gets stabbed. Sam and the others fight with them. Victor fights with the cannibal leader but gets killed by him. In the end, Mason closes the door leaving Sam and Kai outside but they get in when one of them opens the door. Kai shoots the cannibals that got in. Sam opens up a mess to the vent that leads to the surface. They all get into it. Meanwhile the cannibals are trying to break the door. Sam gives Mason a gun before going. The cannibals got in. Mason sees a gas cylinder he shoots the cylinder causing a big explosion but the cannibal leader escaped into the vents. Sam see him and starts to fight with him. The vent breaks and they fall off. They both fight but Sam is no match for his monster strength and he beats up Sam. Sam takes an iron pipe and beats the cannibal with it. 